Hello, my name is Kirioth, and today we're going to have a little chat about the big Warhammer 40,000 preview that just finished. And, we I mean, I was not massively surprised by the main announcement, which is the next edition of 40k. We have talked about this before, we have talked about the fact that that is most likely what we're going to see, and it's been all but confirmed that it is, in fact, Necron based, which is cool, and there is a cool trailer to go along with it, which we will watch right now. In the darkness between the stars, the weak and the faithless find no deliverance. We are raised to believe that the God Emperor watches over us all. And so we are charged to cleanse the mutant, the heretic, the alien. We must not falter. We are his sword. We are his wrath. Even in the face of death, we shall not submit. Suffering is our prayer. Faith is our armor. In battle, he offers us redemption. And for those who prove worthy, the Emperor sends forth his angels. Across a thousand worlds, we fight for our survival. Those that would tear humanity down are legion. Our forces are few. Our enemies, many. There is no respite. There is no mercy. And in our darkest hour, a spiteful universe awakens forgotten evils to break us. The galaxy burns, yet still we stand, the last bulwark against the terror. And while we draw breath, we will fight. For in this new dark age, there is only war. So yeah, some interesting stuff there. I mean, first of all, we could see that the little glint in the Sisters of Battle eye matched what we saw in one of the previous previews as a little, a little, a little teaser as to what was to come. In terms of, uh, in terms of stuff to look forward to. So we've got, firstly, she's healed herself, so that's interesting. She got hit with a gorse rifle and just regenerated her hand, so that's fun. The chainsword wielding Primaris is exactly that. That is going to be an option. Actual assault intercessors are a thing now, so that's fun. We've got this massive monstrosity, this three-legged freak, now, what I've been told is that those three-legged Necrons with the big, like, close combat weapons are a destroyer variant. So, whether that means all destroyers are now ground-based and are not hover things and have three legs, 
and can have close combat or ranged, or whether that is a specific variant of the destroyer, I'm not entirely sure. That has been, I've been told that that is a destroyer lord. Obviously, we'll need to wait and find out whether that is the actual designation, whether destroyers are actually having a significant change, but that's what I've been informed of so far. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. And uh, this, this guy, well, this guy is an actual model. So the guy with the power sword and the massive shield, if we go over to the Warhammer 40,000 site, which is now live, they didn't show this model off on stream, but that's clearly new. That is a new Primaris dude, close combat dude, with a storm shield, with a power sword, and with a Volkite pistol. So that's interesting. That's nice. That's cool. We also do have a proper picture of, uh, of our three-legged friend over there. That is solid. I really like that. I really like that. It's, it's, I mean, similar vibe to Zeraz, because there's three legs, not four. The legs are nice and chunky. They look a bit of battle damage, which is nice. We've got two arms on the one side and one on the other with almost flayed, flayed one-esque claws. I really like that model. I think that looks re just really cool. Be interesting to find out whether that like destroyer designation is correct or not. But I think we're just gonna have to wait and see. But yeah, that that's a solid model. I really like that. Very chunky. Very look at I mean, quite the beefy lad there, let's be honest. So we also have in terms of new models, actual pictures. There is one of the uh one of the promised Assault Intercessors. We thought something like this was going to happen. We were assuming that it would at some point. That point is apparently the new edition of 40k. And uh, and yeah, it's going to be Primaris versus Necrons, as we assumed. Or at least, I say that. There is obviously Sisters of Battle and Imperial Guard in that trailer. So whether it's just going to be plain Primaris versus Necrons, I don't know. I, I would assume so. I don't think they'd dump a bunch of different armies in one box to make up one side of it. The story, at least, I'm assuming will will, will incorporate all three. Uh, but if you wanted assault intercessors, they are now a thing. They exist finally. It's only taken what like three years. It's made no sense to not have them, but we have them now. Chain swords and all, so that's nice. We also have new uh, new Necron warriors. I really like these for the most part. For the most part. Firstly, the green rods are gone. They are finished. They are put. No more green rods on the green on the uh, on the warriors. I'm not going to complain about that. These are more in line with what we see on the immortals and just just the, all the new Necron weaponry as a whole. They're they're more in line with that. The warriors themselves are not quite as uh, quite as pristine as they once were. In fact, they're looking a little bit worse for wear. They did mention that uh, the overlords are less inclined to uh, to repair warriors, as warriors are the lowest of the low, and so more emphasis goes on the larger constructs, the more powerful constructs when it comes to when it comes to necrons, and so that's why these guys are looking a bit battered, a bit worse for wear. The posture is changed considerably. They, I mean, I say considerably. Just overall, these models are more undead like they're more like I, I don't know they they have a they have an almost like zombie quality to them um which to be honest i quite like it's bringing a bit more of the horror back to necrons it's making them a bit more a bit more third edition and a bit less wardian i think is probably the way to put it not that all of the changes to their to their law was bad. I mean, we already had a uh, you know we already had an uncompromising, incomprehensible threat in the form of the Tyranids. Necrons were in a way similar in terms of in terms of their like the perception of them. So I give them a bit more personality. I don't think it was necessarily a bad thing, but I do like that they are starting to mix it a bit more with uh, with them kind of maintaining that more kind of cosmic horror aspect. Yeah, I like these. I like the battered look. This is the kind of thing I would do to mine anyway, so I do have a significant amount of personal bias that way, because I, I love, like, battle damage Necrons. I think they look really cool, so that's something that I would actively go for myself, which obviously means these guys suit me absolutely down to the ground. 
I've seen a few people say they're not sure about the heads. I think the nose has been highlighted too heavily in this paint scheme. But for me, that's that's the only thing I'm not sure about. Kind of the 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 nose in the front of the yeah. I think it's just been highlighted a bit too much. Don't think it needs to be that prominent. It could probably fade into the face a little bit more with a with a slightly less aggressive highlight on it. So other than that, I like the rest of it. I like the fact that the arm is not symmetrical. There's bits hanging off. There's bits missing. There's dents. There's scratches. All round, pretty happy with those guys. Now, to be honest, that's pretty much it in terms of models. That's really all you're getting. There's the ones on the Warhammer 40k site, which uh, which we've had a look at. So, this chap here, this beefy lad. Oh god, the more I like, it, the more I look at that, the more I like it. So good. So there's uh, you know there's that guy, and then there's and then there's this dude. Um, you've got the single uh, assault intercessor. And then you've got the Warriors. That's pretty much it model-wise. So if you're hoping for a massive drop of... Look at all these new shiny things. That's not what this preview was. This preview was really about the announcement of the new edition. Um, which they're going to talk about more. You know, As time goes on, they'll release more details and they'll talk about it a bit more. It's worth going back and having a, a listen to the actual section where they, they talk about their aims and their goals. Kind of an improved narrative structure, things like that. Making narrative games more interesting. Uh, like a, a conquest kind of slash campaign system whereby you can you can build things up, which is cool. It's it's worth listening to that bit, and I believe they're doing a uh, they're doing like a a Q and A slash chat about it a bit more on Tuesday. But yeah, it was mostly focused around that. Um, there's also going to be a new series of books which cover the Indomitus Crusade, headed up by uh, the editor for Black Library and the guy Haley. The first one of which is going to be Avenging Sun, which is a Dawn of Fire is like the the name of the series. So if you are looking for more information and more background on the Indomitus Crusade and stuff, then that is that's that's the place to go. There have been other leaks, is the thing. So we'll just go up a little bit more. So because they've you know they they did quite a bit of talking about about the new edition. Oh, an important thing about the new edition: tanks can fire whilst they're in combat. Thank God for that. If they're in close combat, tanks can still fire. That is one of my most hated rules, that they couldn't do that. What sense does that make? It's so... It was by far one of the most irritating things. Just because it makes no sense. I mean, I know a lot of stuff in 40k doesn't make sense, but why would why would a Lehman Ross not fire because there's a bunch of traitor guards surrounding it? Of course you'd fire. Of course you'd fire. You'd just shoot away. You wouldn't give a shit, would you? You'd just go for it. That's changing. So that's nice. That was just my personal. That was the thing I got most excited about. I was like, finally, it makes sense to actually have. Like, why would you? Why would you not? Why would you not? You can now, so that's nice. There's going to be a Warhammer 40k mobile app, so that'll be like building, uh, building army lists and so on and so forth. And if you buy a physical codex, then you get a code for the digital codex. So it's the same thing as they've said. Can my digital codex come bundled with my print version? Well, noble hobbyist, yes, yes, it can. Ah, <sighs> thank you. Whenever you buy a ninth edition codex, you'll get the digital rules for that codex in the app for free. Good, yes, good, yes, good. It doesn't say exactly when it's when it's coming, but it is on its way. So, uh, so yeah, as they say, for years now, you've asked for an app to collect the rules and stats for your models. Yeah, it has been literally years, and it's been a really frustrating thing to see that Age of Sigmar has had this for so long, and it's taken this long to get a 40k variant of it, but we are getting it now, so that is, that's something to be happy about for sure. Um, okay, there we go. So, if there's any questions about the new edition and stuff, then uh, there's a special studio Q&A on Tuesday the 26th at 7pm UK time so that that is the the place to get more to get more information about that stuff we'll do the nine great things about the new edition because it's got James Workshop presenting and therefore it's always worth watching because everything involving James Workshop is Hello and good day. My name is James Workshop and I am here to tell you, yes, you, nine great things about the new edition of Warhammer 40,000. Are you ready? You had better be, 
Now strap yourself in and let us begin. I love it when it rhymes. One, Warhammer 40,000 has been polished to perfection. Thousands of hours of feedback and innovation have refined the game you love into a gaming experience as smooth as a Necron's shiny head. Two, the most immersive system for narrative play ever. The all-new Crusade system links your games. Earn battle honors, experience, and new rules for your army. It's time to toughen up, kid. Take your recruits from green to me. Three, everyone loves command points, so now everyone gets more. Expect less soup and more super soldiers. Four, tanks are back on track. Your armored behemoths been getting bogged down by pesky horrid grots or squishy gaunts? No more. Tanks can shoot in combat. Blast foes at point-blank range and keep on rolling. Five, terrain's been rebuilt from the ground up. Want to defend a building getting bonuses while you do? Absolutely. Want to sneak up on your opponent using terrain to block their line of sight? We've got you covered. Want to run screaming at your opponent with your chainsword raised and a hymn to the Emperor on your lips? Not completely relevant to this section of the video, but also, yes. Six, Warhammer 40,000 at every size of game. From lunch break combat patrols with your new army to crushing your friends beneath the iron boots of your full collection, we have balanced the scales. Seven, tactical power at your fingertips. Strategic reserves have changed allowing you to strike your enemies from all angles. Think you're the cleverest general among your friends? Time to prove it, sunshine. Hit them where it hurts. Eight, big guns never tire, and firepower feels great. Explosive weapons deal maximum hits to hordes as they swarm across the battlefield, so bring your favorite guns to the party and get the job done. It's time to have a blast. Nine. Aircraft take flight. Soar across the battlefield, ignore intervening models, and return for another attack run. It's time for aircraft to feel aircrafty. Pew pew noise is optional, but highly recommended. New Warhammer 40,000 coming soon. Pew pew. So when I said conquest earlier, I meant crusade. There's so many. Oh, the naming system just, just goes on and on, doesn't it? Not a new thing, obviously, but God, everything sounds so similar. And that's pretty much it. That is pretty much what we got. Now, now, there is something else. There is something else we need to talk about. I mean, you know, there's a new edition of 40k. We've got some new models. The stuff that was shown off was not all that was shown off. So, there was a leaked image that went everywhere like just before the preview went live i say just before like 20 minutes or so um which i do have someone sent it to me and i was like oh my god they're gonna show all of this off and then they didn't show like, even a fraction of it well technically i mean a frat one <laughs> two things is a fraction of the overall but it's not exactly everything that it was so we're gonna take a look at that now we're gonna take a look now i'll you know, if you don't want to see this, then by all means, turn the video off now. Um, I'll put a timestamp in the description so that you can see the the teaser for The Silent King, because they did show that at the very end of the stream, which means that the video we saw last week was a teaser for another teaser, which does not sit great with me, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, we'll look at that after we've looked at this image. So, what we got from the actual... Preview is the three-legged guy who I've been told is a destroyer lord. Could be incorrect, but we'll see. And uh, and new Necron warriors. But there's more Necron stuff than that by far. Because there's all of this. Now, this is obviously god-awful, terrible quality. I've had to zoom in quite a bit on this. And yeah, it's just, so I, I can't do anything about it. That's just how it is. But we can see down the bottom right, we've got what looks like the Primaris guy with the Storm Shield. We've also got, clearly, in the top right, that is the Silent King. So the Silent King is up there on a massive pimp throne with two big shield things floating next to him. We've got what looks like another um, Katan over there with the wings sticking out. I've seen people suggest it might be the Void Dragon, but, I mean, I don't know. We'll 
have to wait and see. It's really difficult to tell any sort of detail whatsoever from this picture, let's be honest. We also have, you know, we've got like, we've got a Doom Scythe over in the top left. There's a Triarch Stalker between the new Catan and the new Monolith. So that is very clearly a new Monolith. Uh, just from looking at it, you don't really have to, you know, have this in massively high quality to notice a couple of things. Firstly, that gash crystal in the top of it is gone. That has been removed. The uh, the kind of struts that go around the kind of energy source thing in the center are now more rounded. You've got these big blocks of what I'm assuming are blackstone on either side of the of the gateway, which looks to be some sort of moulded lightning pattern, so that's really cool. We talked about the monolith in the Necron Range review and how it, it just doesn't look the part anymore. It looks old, it looks dated. That looks like, even in this quality, it is going to be so much more like uh, on par for the rest of the range, you know? It, it looks so much more appropriate to the rest of the range. Of course, it is a little difficult to tell because it's really blurry blurry as anything we've got the three-legged guy in the kind of uh like almost the center of the picture sort of down into the right slightly we also have two tripod things so in the far left far right of the picture you can also see we've got like no not a tripod it's got four legs what am i talking about a quadruped tripod requires having three doesn't it and clearly there's four uh so we've got two of these four-legged constructs one of which I, do, I suspect they're probably the same height. I suspect they're probably the same height, it's just one of them is raised on the scenery and the other one isn't. Plus, I think the one on the left is closer to the camera than the one on the right, which will make a difference. At the very least, I would expect that to be the same kit. Um, they look slightly different in their setup. So, the one on the left has obviously got a massive cannon on the top of it. The one on the right looks to have a kind of curved up section to the armor plating, which matches what we see on Immortals, on Warriors, on Destroyers. You know, it, it matches the kind of shoulder section of of some of the uh, more powerful Necrons. I think it's very, very blurry. It's very difficult to tell. We've got some sort of new character in the left. Um, there's definitely some sort of new character on the left long kind of uh like draped um like tassel things coming down the front and obviously a big staff sticking up i don't that's not illuminal zero as it's the wrong shape for for him so that's i that looks to be something new um i'm now actually start oh it's difficult to tell i'm starting to wonder whether the destroyer talk is is correct or not because you can see on the left hand side the bottom left there we quite clearly have what looks like a heavy destroyer. I mean, obviously, again, it's massively pixelated, but it looks like a heavy destroyer. You've got a massive, a massive gorse cannon, big old shoulders there. The way that image is, it looks like he's got a like a floating platform though. He still looks like a skimmer. That still looks like a skimmer to me. It's difficult to tell, but there's like a pattern of three. Like three things on the on the left of the model, kind of lower down. Uh, that could be the scenery, or that could be part of his like the the skimmer platform that he's on. Like it could be part of the the, the vents that point out, that maybe point down a little bit further on the new one. In which case, what does that make the the one with the three legs? Is it just two different variants? Because it kind of looks like there's something... Oh no, I think those are immortals off to the right. It's really difficult to tell. It's really difficult to tell. There's obviously some uh, some some uh, Triarch Praetorians as well going on there. And the new warriors falling out of the monolith. It kind of looks like there's something different and, and new on either side of that character in the bottom left that we can't see as well. But I cannot make any detail on those out at all. Essentially, what I thought might happen, I think, is happening. Um, you know, Necron stuff with the green the green rods, it's being replaced and made into something new. So, new monoliths, new warriors, new destroyers. Um, and I was really hoping for new flayed ones, but I can't make out anything that looks like that in this image, unless... Unless it's the things that are on either side of that character, but that would make them kind of big? Or is that just because they're a bit closer to the camera itself? Really difficult to tell. Really difficult. But 
there is more Necron stuff on the way, for sure. 100% for sure. You can see it right in front of you. It's blurry as hell, but it's there. And it matches, and there's stuff that... You know, it, you could write off an image of this pixelated. It's just been a load of old bollocks. But there are there are things in here that we've already seen today. So it strikes me that this is legitimate, and that there is new stuff in there that we just have not seen yet. Um, why they didn't put it in that preview, I don't know. But who knows? Who knows how these things work? But yeah, there's there is obviously way more stuff to come. Now, for the end of this video, I'm going to play the teaser for the Silent King which you can take a look at. Um, yeah, it's it's a cool teaser, and it shows us some cool bits of that massive floating chair that he's got over there in the top right, but no full shot of him just yet. I'm sure that'll be coming in the uh, in the next few weeks, I would hope, anyway. I would really hope that they do. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the preview and for this leak. I thought we'd just stick them all together in one big video. Let me know what you think of all that in the comments down below. Is there anything particularly that you're looking forward to? Is there anything that, when they talked about the rule stuff... You know, you, you, it, it stuck out in your mind as like, yes, that is something I would like or something I would not like. Are you excited about all this new Necron stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. Enjoy this uh, this teaser at the end. Hopefully we'll get to see the full thing sooner rather than later. And at the end of the video, feel free to click all the things. There's an affiliate link in the description down below to support the channel, which you can use if you would like. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.